Hey, it's AP, and today I'm making resin printed swag for Star Wars Celebration. Check it out. I recently went to Star Wars Celebration Europe, and it was everything you'd expect in a convention called Star Wars Celebration. It had cosplay, it had panels, it had big reveals, it had exclusive merch, the whole kit, caboodle, and the enchilada. And one thing that us nerds and cosplayers like to do is hand out our own branded merch, or swag. Now I've gotten stickers, patches, coins, poker chips, yes poker chips, and all other cool cosplayer and 501st Trooper branded swag over the years, and I figured, well it's about time I made some of my own. And of course, since the channel is called Made by AP, I had to make something to give away. Talk about self-imposed peer pressure. I decided to make some challenge coins. Collectors love coins, right? And a coin is something that I can easily design and print. So literally three days before the con, I decided, let's do it. All it took was some basic Adobe Illustrator and Fusion 360 skills, a 3D printer, and some rub and buff. So let's rewind and I'll show you how I made these beautiful little collector's items. <laughs> Before exporting, make sure you create outlines for all your text and images so you'll be able to manipulate them in Fusion 360. When you're finished, export the file as a DXF. Open Fusion 360 or whatever program you do your 3D design in and create a new file. Import the DXF by going to Insert, then Insert DXF, and then select your plane. Once both sides of the coins are in, I need to make a coin body since the DX files are really for just the art and text. I select the same plane that everything else is on and draw a circle. I found that the two-point circle was easier to get an accurate layover here. Now I can create my coin body. Select the circle you just drew and extrude it from both sides, going half the thickness of your coin on each side. So my coin is 3 millimeters, so I'm doing 1.5 millimeters on each side. Now we can start turning this into a coin. Just select everything that you want raised on the coin or embossed in the coin. I guess this can go either way. Select Extrude and set whatever distance you'd like, including the half thickness of the coin you set previously. So, if you want a half a millimeter extrusion and you have a three millimeter coin, then you'd set this to two millimeters. It'll make sense once you start working on it, I promise. Once you feel good about the front of the coin, turn your canvas over and start working on the bottom. The only difference is that instead of entering a positive number for your extrusion, you'll use a negative number since you are extruding downwards. Now save and export the STL and start printing.
A few minutes later. Oh, pretty little maids all in a row. I want the one on the left. She's perfect. A quick IPA bath and some time in the old cure station and these coins are ready for some finishing work. I still haven't mastered the art of resin supports and not leaving nubs behind. If you have some pointers on that, leave me a comment below. I sanded the nubs off with 120 grit sandpaper and then came behind it with a 320 grit sandpaper. A quick wipe down and I'm ready for the best model and prop making invention. Rub and buff. Okay, so this isn't rub and buff, but it's the same idea. The trick with rub and buff is that a little bit goes a long way. I just put the tiniest of dabs on my foam brush. I wiped it off on my paper and then I started quickly brushing it on the coin. Look at that. Just a quick little swipe of the brush. Just swipe, swipe, swipe. The other trick here is to not be perfect. I want these to look like they've been in some smuggler's pocket for a year, dirty and faded. Like that penny I found in the park that one time and you were like, I really like that penny, but it's really ugly looking. And, oh, are we out of footage? Sorry. And here we are, first batch done, a few more to go. Pretty cool, right? Not a huge amount of work, and like I said, it only takes basic design skills to create something that's pretty cool and memorable. I mean, anyone can go out and have merch swag produced, but how cool is it if you make it yourself? It's really cool. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're giving this a go, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear how you made out. And heck, even send me a pic of the final product on your socials. Give the video a thumbs up if you'd be so kind. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate the support. If you liked this episode, check out some of my other 3D printing videos. I did a fun one a while back on how to print a big Mandalorian helmet on a tiny little printer. And you can check out that in the links below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I could make the, uh, the Harvey Dent coin next. That's actually a fun little prop. All right. I keep on getting heads. Look at that. Okay. <laughs>